Hello friends, welcome to Truth of Physics. Today in this video, I will discuss that how you can derive the expression of Heisenberg uncertainty principle from the concept of wave packet. Now, this video is going to be very much interesting. Okay. Now, uh, what? Why we need to uh, study the wave packet or the why the concept of wave packet comes in the picture of in in quantum mechanics. Now it is a uh, another topic. Uh, if you want to discuss, if you want to learn that, then comment below in this video's comment box. Uh, I will make an another video discussing the basic concepts and the need why to uh, study the wave packet. Okay, and the basic formalisms also I will discuss in that video. Okay, now wave packet um, is uh, really very important to understand uh, or to describe the wave function of a free particle okay now <clears throat> if we consider gaussian wave packet gaussian wave packet then the momentum wave function phi k is equals to some constant a which will be later uh, uh, determined using the um, proper normalization okay so a some constant into e to the power minus a square k minus k naught whole square divided by 4 this now from this using the concept of Fourier transform if you uh, make the inverse Fourier transform then you will get psi x that is the position wave function of that particle now psi x will be equals to uh, just 1 by root over 2 pi integration minus infinity to plus infinity phi of k e to the power i k naught x dt if you do these things and first you have to normalize this and find the constant a okay if you do these things then you will get the psi x to be equals to psi x is equals to some another constant into e to the power minus x square over a square e to the power i k naught x now you can see easily that this is what an another gaussian function that means uh, the position wave function is a gaussian wave function and the our momentum wave function was also a gaussian wave function now if, if we want to draw these things then we'll come across these things um, this will be like this this is the suppose uh, for position wave function okay the probability and here in this axis th there is x now you can easily understand from this that at x equals to 0 if we put x equals to 0 that means this will be maximum right and uh, far below from or if we, if we uh, go uh, apart from x equals to 0 then gradually this will decrease because this is e to the power minus x square over a square so the form will be just like this right a and this point is nothing but our zero point now what will the wave function of the uh, this the momentum space the momentum wave function that will be simply similar like this and here it is the axis is k the wave number now if we consider uh, say here you can see that for this function this wave function to be maximum you have to put the k equals to k naught right at k equals to k naught this this will be maximum that means this point is k naught right that means this wave function is centered at its center is at x equals to 0 but its center is at x equal, uh, k equals to k naught okay now we will define the half width the del x and del k but i am just uh, discussing that del x means if we displace from this point if you displace from this point like this suppose this is our del x delta x similarly this is our delta k if we move we are defining if we move from this point to this point then our wave function then our wave function will come down to half of half of its maximum maximum value that means here the wave function will be half of its maximum value if we move del x and del x 
is also the half width. What is that? Let us understand with a simple thing that here, what will the form the wave function or the uh, mod of psi x square? Now, what will this mod of psi x square? Let us write, let us write that first. So mod of psi, if we take the mod of this thing, then it will be just v square, some constant, into e to the power minus 2x square over a square into e to the power i k x e to the power i k not x into its complex means e to the power minus i k not x that means that will be just vanished so this will be here and at x equals to 0 if we put x equal to 0 here that means this will be just v square so here the wave function this will be just v square this thing okay and here what will be that here it will be just delta x square over a square right if we put delta x here and we are uh, defining delta x to be the half width that means its half half width half width okay that means then here at this point the wave function psi of x square will be b square e to the power minus 2 into a by 2 its whole square half width for x equals to a by 2 right divided by this a square so it will gradually become b square e to the power uh, minus 1 by 2 right so you can easily understand the ratio of this and this will be just if you divide this by this then the ratio will be just e to the power minus half right so the wave function psi of x is dropping to e to the power minus half when we move delta x from x equals to 0 similarly if we move delta k from k equals to k naught this point from k equals to k naught then we will come again or the wave function the mod square of the wave function will drop down to e to the power minus half this quantity right so now we will use this thing so we can write that psi delta x we are we are just considering uh, the stationary thing that is we are not taking the time so the time is equals to 0 delta x divided by its mod square divided by delta at x equals to 0 its mod square then it will be just equals to e to the power minus half right okay so it will be just equals to e to the power minus half now if we put delta x in the expression of this then we will get just uh, and here in the denominator there is also an again you will get also uh, b square so the b square times will be cancelled out and we will get and you will get only e to the power minus 2 delta x it's a whole square divided by a square and that will be equal to e to the power minus half because all the b square terms will be cancelled out from this and from this so we will get this now comparing you will get delta x right you will get delta x is equals to uh, a over 2 similarly we can we can get the relation for uh, phi uh, phi k right how let us understand phi k for phi k phi k okay at mm, delta k comma 0 whole square divided by phi delta okay sorry this is 0 0 so much it will be again if we were minus up so if we calculate this it will be equals to e to the power minus a square delta k whole square divided by 2 that will be equals to e to the power minus half means what a square delta k square divided by 2 is equals to half 2 will be cancelled out so delta k will be equals to 1 by a so delta k is equals to 1 by a now using this thing 
and using this thing if we multiply these two things delta x delta k will be equals to a by 2 into 1 by a means 1 by 2 now we know that p equals to h cross k if we take the delta delta p or delta k will be equals to delta p divided by h cross so if we just inject this here we will get delta x into delta p h cross will be taken here will be equals to h cross over 2 which is just the nothing but our heisenberg uncertainty principle right so this is our heisenberg uncertainty principle and you have to notice that we have we have discussed this all the things for gaussian wave packet right we have we have assumed this phi k to be gaussian right this is gaussian and for gaussian wave packet um, we have derived that delta x delta p is equals to it is equals to h cross by 2 and we know that uh, in heisenberg constant pressure this is uh, not equals only it is equal and also greater than equals to h cross over 2 so the minimum of the uh, uh, uncertainty product del x del p we have gained from consideration of a gaussian wave packet right so in another word you can say that the gaussian wave packet is is the lowest bound of the uncertainty principle okay or you can say that the gaussian wave packet is the minimum uncertainty wave packet so this is what the minimum uncertainty wave packet minimum and if you if you consider another type of wave packet then you will always get delta x delta p greater than h cross over 2 only the gaussian wave packet will uh, give you the equal to sign that means the minimum of the uncertainty okay so this is all about today's video i think you have enjoyed uh, that uh, how beautifully the concept of wave packet can derive the expression of heisenberg uncertainty principle which is a basic and fundamental uh, principle in quantum mechanics so uh, for getting notifications of my upcoming videos subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and share this video with your friends so take care of yourself thanks for watching